right away. So here's a big gold. So, and Sir Violet. So the Cthulhu have made contact with the Jama Kingdom, and uh, Himika says that she'll uh, easily let them keep. Like, yeah, you can keep Earth as long as uh, I have the Bronze Bell. And uh, says, indeed, hatred is the strongest force in the universe. But however strong Ixo One may be, uh, they are nothing face the Jama Kingdom's malice. And uh, this is Violet. It's like, hey, don't underestimate him. And then hangs up. And then Himika. <laughs> Once, what's that power emanating from a big a gold? And it's quite similar uh, to their own. And Mimashi here is like, uh, Fate has brought us together. And asks if they'll be aligned with the Cthulhu. And him goes, yeah, of course, it's going to be win-win. If uh, they're struck down, then at least it wears out Jig and his allies. And if they survive, then the Jama can take him out. And then, brilliant! And uh, Ikima is uh, expected to return soon, so that the Cthulhu do their thing until then. I don't think they did give a date for the new SD Gigen. In the Cthulhu, Fo Cthulhu Fortress, uh, Ixa 2 has recovered from a battle and he's already like, I gotta kill Ixa 1, put me out there, chief, put me, take me off the bench. And uh, Savila uh, tells her to go, because the future of their kind depends on it. And Ixa 2 says, You may have found your partner, but she's no more than an earthling girl. Just you wait, Ixa 1. You're not long for this world. And then, uh, The plants ordered you to seek the Archangel? They did, yes, and we're about to set out after them. It's ridiculous! Anyone can see that the Archangel is an enemy. It's not our place to decide who the enemies and allies are. I hope you'll understand. I mean, we don't, because that's that's all, literally all we do, but sure. Then at least let us accompany you. Accompany us? I don't think they're enemies either, so at least give us a chance to talk to them before you attack. The Archangel intervened in several battles in order to bring the last Great War to an end. I'm sure we can find common ground if we manage to speak to one another. What you're getting at is you want to invite the Archangel to join Lotus, then? Yes, if they joined us and clarified where they stand, then Zaft would have no reason to order the attack. Well, I suppose it'd be possible to avoid some unnecessary conflict if they can be persuaded. Glad you agree. Very well, you may accompany us. We'll be starting our pursuit at once. What do you think? It's clear that Captain Gladys doesn't like this either. The Archangel's given Zaft no reason to see them as a threat thus far, so these orders are coming completely out of the blue. I agree. If they came for the plants themselves, does that mean it was Chairman Dorindal who ordered it? But why are they doing that? It was already bad enough that we're wasting our time with the Alliance. Seriously, humans really shouldn't be fighting each other with the, along with the Jama Kingdom, the aliens, and stuff hanging out. Say nothing of how much a boost it would be for us if we managed to add the Archangel's forces to our team. And then... This presence is... What is it, Ixa-1? Is Ixa-2 trapped down a well? It's her. Ixa-2 is coming after us. Speak of the devil, that broad's got the worst sense of timing in the world. That's it, he said broad. This, this dame is a real fucking snaggle. Captain, why are we going to attack the Archangel? These orders are insane. They're also from the Supreme Council, we have to comply. But why so suddenly? What's the chairman thinking? The Federation's violence is pushing the radicals in the Supreme Council to become progressively louder. I'm sure the chairman is trying to contain them, but there's only so much he can do. Hey, come on, believe in him more, you love that guy. But that doesn't justify fighting the Archangel. Then who is it that you want to fight? We're soldiers and this is war, that's the way things are. If you can't make your peace with it, then you'll die. We may not need to fight them depending on how Lotus' negotiations go, but first we have to at least catch up to the Archangel. And if Lotus can't convince them, then we'll follow our orders. C Captain! You have to fight the guy who helped me save Stella? Can I actually do that? Meanwhile, aboard the Archangel, Neo's asleep. He'd woken up earlier and he said he was Neo Roanoke of the Earth Alliance, but his medical data is a complete match for Mula Flaga, 100%. It's him. And uh, he was uh, like killed in action after his mobile suit was destroyed while shielding the Archangel at uh, Yachindu. But uh, then it turned out that actually uh, he didn't die, he's fine. Uh, and then he wakes up, yeah, yeah, good grief. He doesn't appreciate him referring to him as a uh, Lieutenant Commander, he may be a prisoner of war, but that doesn't give him a right to demote him like that. Then he says, well, why are you looking at me like that, beautiful? Love at first sight, maybe? She's like, Moo! Yeah. He's like, Moo? No, I'm Neo Roanoke. <laughs> Fuck it. I've taken my mask off, so now I'm back to being like I was before. 
I'm back to being a real smooth talker. But yeah, he's lost his memories. But then Wolfwood gets in touch. He's like, hey, the Minerva and the Macross Quarter are headed this way. Haven't got it in touch yet, but I've got a bad feeling about this. So Muru rushes to the bridge. And Kira's like, damn, what could those boats be after? And this is mission six of the, 16 of the Alliance route. Uh, intervention. There's only like two stations in each so we go. And here we are in the. Uh, that, that awful hellhole that's too far north so no life can live. And uh, this is Muru Ramius, Captain of the Archangel speaking. What's the meaning of this, Captain Gladys? Captain Ramius, the maneuver has been ordered to bring down your vessel. <laughs> what did you say? Hold, Captain Ramius. I'm Ghost Aru Atari of Lotus. Hero of the War of Giants. I've heard of you. We're here to parlay and ask if your group would be willing to join Lotus. If you cease to be a wild card and make your affiliations clearly defined, then we can avoid many pointless battles. I wouldn't be so sure. I got the sinking feeling that your orders uh, to shoot us down have more to do with killing two of our crew members. What do you mean? Which people are those? The first would be Kira Yamato, the super coordinator. The other would likely be me. <laughs> What's Miss Lacus doing with him? I thought she was at the plants. You mean the girl with Dorindal? I've no idea who she is, but I can assure you this one is the real Lakers Klein. And you should know that when we were at Orb, Coordinator Assassins came after us. We have reason to suspect that someone manipulating the plants from the shadows tried to kill Lakers. And that's the sudden orders to destroy you, huh? And then, but who from the plants would want to kill Chair? Who would? Yeah, who in the plants would want to kill Chairman Dorindal? No, that can't be. Captain Gladys, I understand your position. As a soldier, you can't go against the orders you're given but the current situation compels us to try our damnedest to stay alive. And so, if you insist on doing this, then we're ready to fight to the end. Shift us to Code Red. Deploy all mobile squadrons. Really didn't want to fight the freedom, but isn't there any way around this? What? Hey, look! Dilos uh, is a Dilos Theta. Gets his spark along. Oh no, an attackers. Watch out! Blech. The freedom saved me? Captain, with a group of unknown units inbound. They appeared out of nowhere. What? Look at them all. There's Ixa too, hanging out. Oh, it's a Cthulhu! Cthulhu, mate! Why'd they have to turn up now? Captain Ramius, Captain Gladys, those are the Cthulhu. They're a group of aliens who are targeting the Earth. I've seen reports on them. Seems our little battle has been postponed for us. Troops, your targets are the Cthulhu forces. Open fire. And that's our cue to deploy too. No need to hold anything back against those guys. And we just launch all the nerds. Wow, wow, wow. Fucking J Man. It's been too long, dear sister. But what say you? Uh, yeah, what say you? We put a definitive end to this today. Oh, well, not Ixa too. Cannot afford to fall here. What do we do, Captain? Do we use this opening to run off? No, we'll assist them. An alien invasion is not something we can turn the other cheek to. All the units move to intercept. So here we are. Just gotta fight some guys. Oh, I just meant like the like the design of the map, like all these fucking cliffs and shit. But this lady's still gross and will murder the shit out of you. But everybody else is just fine. Pro J strat is leaving the Nadesco where it is and just ending turn. And 
admit you win. Because you picked Grenty. Don't pick Velsaloot. Yeah, I mean, it's good, but... because Jay's AI is all jacked up. Boost Nova Nakuru. Mega Boost on your supers, you just end turn. You just keep ending turn until you're done. The, the ultimate power. That's why uh, there's that SR point, right? Well, in Moon Dwellers, there's the SR point where Granty has to get X amount of bobs, but you can't move him, so you just have to end turn and wait for the enemies to fight him. That takes too long. No, because then that takes even longer because you have to wait for the reinforcements to get to you. You just sit and then turn. Just wait. Oh, Kira's focused. Finger. Sondo Bure. Amda Bure. juice, because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble when Ipsa 2 comes a knock in. Look at that, Saka's leveling up! Weird. Turns out when you get any XP at all, you level up. Fucked up. Like a bunch of um, big tankiest boys don't have it. <laughs> 